What is up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. And in this workout you will once again see some classic exercises to build up those shoulders. And I do realize that a lot of people say, hey, aren't your shoulders too big for the golden era? Arnold, Franco, Colombo, Frank Zane, etc. They didn't have huge shoulders and that is true. But nowadays for modern bodybuilders and for me to be competitive on stage, you need to have a proportionate physique. So that's what I'm working on. And actually, I normally don't train shoulders individually. I like to combine the side delts with chest and the rear delts with back, which is something I advise you to do for sure, especially when you have front delt pains, when your shoulders are in pain in general, you might be training the front delts too much. So actually skipping a workout every now and then and just including the side and the rear in different workouts will actually make your shoulders progress more and lessen the injuries that you have. Anyway, we started out with the side dumbbell lateral raise. And this is an amazing exercise for the side delts. I like to do a lot of volume with those, really filling up the side delts because they're not that big. So going heavy wouldn't really target only that small muscle, but also the traps. Then we moved on to the incline side dumbbell lateral raise, which is a different angle you target it with. And you can actually individually target each arm and it does give a different feeling. So for people who have trouble with the mind muscle connection during the standing version, the inclined version will definitely be something you should be looking at and trying out. And then the rear delts are up for death because they have to die and then resurrect stronger. That is what we're doing in the gym, killing those muscle cells, fueling them again, resurrecting them for the next workout to grow stronger and bigger. And I started that with the reverse dumbbell flies, one of my favorite rear delt exercises. If you look in the mirror and from the side, your rear delts are smaller than the front delts, you definitely want to do the rear delts before the front delts during every single shoulder workout. So I worked them up with quite a lot of volume again, pulling all the blood into that little muscle group, pumping it up, making sure the volume, you know, the muscle is being volumized and actually will grow. It will increase the mind muscle connection as well, because the more blood in there, the more pumped it is, the more you realize that muscle is actually there. Some people have trouble uh, contracting the rear delts, they contract the traps or the entire middle back, and you should only contract those little rear delts. And if you look at me right now, I am going pretty heavy with this one because we already warmed up with the reverse flies, but you want to hit those rear delts. So if you record yourself, you should see a little bump on the back of your shoulders when you're doing the exercise. If you only see your traps working, you might want to do something with your form and lighten the weight. And as I mentioned, I first like to do the side and rear delts to really balance the shoulder out because the front delts are already targeted when you're doing chest and if you're doing shoulders on their own. If you then also do the front delts first, you might really overtrain them. You know, overtraining is a term we like to use a lot, but I do think the front delts can get overtrained pretty quickly because so many people have trouble with injuries in the front delts. And if you do have an injury there, check out my shoulder stretch fix on my channel. Just search for the shoulder fix, the shoulder stretch, and you will find it. And this exercise I love. I'm putting on a belt right there because my body is in an angle. It's not straight, but it's actually in an angle and that puts pressure on the lower back. So keeping a belt on will actually keep me more stable and more safe. So that was the free weight military press. And then we move on to the Smith machine military press behind the neck. We just did in front of the neck or in front of the face. And now we're doing behind the neck. I'm choosing the Smith machine here because this is a risky exercise to do. And it's also the reason that I'm doing it at last 
after every single exercise we just did really making sure the shoulders are warmed up because this is a risky exercise if you go too low you might overstress the joints and the tendons you don't want to do that and that's also why i'm doing a lot more well quite some more reps here at least 15 to really work those delts getting a good pump in there before we start with the next exercise so here you want to go to about 90 degrees go upwards contracting the front delts and go down again keeping the tension on those delts at all times normally i stick to two front delt exercises but actually today was supposed to be leg day but this very day and this was actually on a wednesday i had a massage a deep tissue massage in the legs and you don't want to train legs the very same day that that happens that is asking for injuries the muscles are very loose the fibers are loose and you will actually get muscle ache the next day if you get a good guy or woman that does it for you but anyway to the point this is the third front delt exercise a really nice isolation movement sometimes i like to start with this to really warm up the front delts properly but ending with this is also a very good thing because when you isolate a muscle you can go to the absolute max without risking or having to go too heavy or having to do drop sets you can literally go to the very end until failure with every single arm you know you only got two arms but with each arm and then you know that you targeted the front delts to the max and then the final exercise is basically for the traps more i wanted to finish this workout up with some trap work doing the up right row like this really contracting the traps at the top sometimes you can hit the front delts with this or the side delts depending on how wide you grip it but this is a special version on the cable so you really want to focus on those traps contracting them at the very top okay and then the post workout meal this is actually the meal that i like to have either directly post workout or after the post workout meal about two hours later i like this in the evening slash night because this has a lot of healthy fats in there a lot of vegetables and a good sustaining carbohydrate to fuel my muscles with carbohydrates healthy fats minerals and of course protein there's also omega-3 in these salmons but watch this this is a wild salmon and this is a nordic salmon the difference is that this salmon has a lot more healthy fatty acids in there compared to this one so this is about probably 230 calories per 100 grams and this one is about 110 calories per 100 grams so that's a big difference however the protein content is about the same and what do we have here in terms of vegetables is some brussels sprouts and some broccoli 200 grams of brussels sprouts and 100 grams of broccoli i really love green vegetables and then we've got some yam slash sweet potato fries with five grams of coconut oil and uh, they're very healthy as well I like to keep the skin on there and I uh, just like to cut them fresh put them in the active fry for about 20 minutes and they're done about 300 grams of that so this is a very healthy fully meal with everything in there that you need post workout anyway I'm going to enjoy this right now okay guys this shoulder workout you just saw in this video was actually from Wednesday and right now it's Saturday night and about two weeks out actually on uh, November 26 I will have another competition and I'll do my best to show you exactly what I do I'm gonna make more nutrition videos and training videos showing you how it changes when I'm for example one week out and then I will of course show you the contest day and how everything will be going and if everything goes as I want it to go I will be fuller and more conditioned on that stage so the perfect plan would be that i weigh even more on this competition compared to the last one but look fuller but more conditioned so that'll be the ultimate package that i can possibly bring and um after that it's time for some lean bulking which of course i will show you as well how to work on those weak points and you will see my weak points becoming strength such as the back thickness the hamstrings and the triceps funny enough they're all in the back of my body so you know sometimes they say everything on the back of your body you don't see every time in a mirror so that's why it's uh, underdeveloped 
That's not true in my case, but it just happens to be on the back of the body. Um, that just means I need to install even more mind muscle connection and some different forms, different exercises. But I will show you exactly what I'm going to be doing and why. Anyway, guys, there's a lot more videos coming, nutrition, specific workout videos, and uh, different kind of videos overall. So you will be seeing everything. I want to thank you for watching, and don't forget to stay golden.